I'm Oliver Trevina here with Young Hollywood on set of ABC's new show Splash, about to interview the celebrities who are competing and learning how to become pro divers. It's pretty scary and with good reason. I'm here with the lovely Kendra Wilkinson. How are you? Oh man, doing great, man. We're it out sounds like it. Cool in the cold. It's yeah. doing some tricks. Louis Anderson, how are you, young I'm man? Good, Oliver. How are you? I'm good. You're looking good. I'm trying. You, you're trying. You're doing very well. Three pairs of spanks on, and uh, two people in the back. You can't see them holding me. And we're here on Splash, which is quite scary. It is really scary. Um, whenever you're on the ground and you're looking up and you're watching someone do a high dive, it's nothing like it is whenever you're actually up there doing it. You have to be fearless in order to go far in the competition. What's been the hardest part in the last six weeks? You're overcoming the fear of the height, you know, getting up and, and doing, and then when you're not just jumping off from that height, you're actually trying to do a dive and all the variables that can come in and right. you can smack and slap. I mean, I've had some pretty painful hits. I saw you have a bandage on your hand. What, what injury is that? Well, I'm not used to landing upside down. It's my whole life I land on my feet. So yeah, I like, I don't know what I did to my thumb. I was doing this dive off the five meter and I got halfway through the dive and was like, yeah, I don't want to do this right now. But if you know anything about the laws of, of gravity, there was no stopping at that point. So uh -huh. I just kind of smacked the water pretty horribly. I'm living in my, probably my worst fear. Right. You know, I've I've had a couple of wipeouts, pretty bad wipeouts. Whenever you hit the water at 35 miles an hour from a high dive, is that you, how fast you're going? Yes. If you land incorrectly, then you are pretty sure you're going to hurt whenever you get out. Did you think about backing out at any point? Yeah. I mean, we have a week left to practice for the competition, and this is the closest I've been to wanting to pull out. I'm trying to do an inward dive off the three meter. So that's what I've been practicing and I nail it and I nail it on the one meter, but I go up to three meter and I'm backwards and I'm like, ah, I can't do it. And I freeze and I throw up and it's just a bad thing. I jumped off early on and I got in the water and I got turned around. So I didn't know if I was going up or down. So I went down. I thought I was coming to the surface by going down. And then I finally got I got water in my lungs a little bit. I was, you know, it was, it was frightening. Even when you're landing right, you know, it's a it's huge impact on your on your joints and your hands and your wrists and everything. So there's a lot of weird pains and things that, that kind of right. set in at the end of the day. I have a disadvantage with this show because I was out for a good two weeks because I had a bad sinus infection. You don't want to swim or dive during a bad sinus infection. And But you did. But I did. And I blew a whole handful of snot, and I'm like, where do I put this right now? I mean, where do you put the snot? You I don't know. On the on the sidewalk here, you put it in the pool. I thought you just do one of them, like throw it. You know snot is in that pool? Nice. That's gross. I'm not going to get in the pool. Is it something that you wanted to do before you got the phone call to do the show? I didn't even know anything about high dive. I never watched it in the Olympics, really. I didn't know anything about it. So when I got here, and I, I have a fear of heights, so I mean, going up to the 10 meter, looking right. over for the first time was, you know, I, I, I was thinking, there's no way I'm going to do anything off of this, you know? Is it exciting for you to be have to pass on your, your tips and your trades to, to celebrities? Well, it's interesting because uh, it's really challenged me in my imagination is, um, you know, getting through to, you know, the celebrities and addressing fears and, and ways to approach it. I mean, we had Chewy. I mean, when they told me that I had somebody that couldn't swim, I'm like, oh my God, you're kidding. And we have to teach him how to dive? You're not just here to take part, you're here to win, are you? I'm here to win. It'll be really competitive. You know, I, it'll be it'll be hard. I think I'll get down to maybe the final four or final five. Ooh. But That's positive though, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Who do you think is going to win it? Jake. He, I've watched him dive and he could actually take up the sport if he wanted to. He's that good. Everyone that I've interviewed has turned around and said, I've said, who's your favorite to win it? And they're saying Drake Bell. I think Drake, he's a good diver, he's got good form. Well, I can see him winning it. He's dedicated. He's really, he's very, very serious. Right. Very serious. He's taking it far too seriously. Drake Bell is it. This is his sport. Okay, he fell in love with it. Drake Bell kind of stands out. Him again. He puts in the work, you know, and the hard work pays off. I mean, it really shows. I mean, he's come so far. Really? Yeah. Did you not know that? No, I didn't, but that's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Apparently, you're taking it very seriously and you're out to win. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I've never done anything like this before, but I've really fallen in love with it. Give me three tips if I was going to get up on that 10 meter board now and dive in. I'm not going to, well, don't you're worry. You're not going to dive, I'm not going to jump. I could jump. Well, yeah. three tips, three tips to do a good jump. First of all, you just have to 
you just gotta forget about it and do it. You can't think about it. Okay. You just gotta get off the get off of it. Make sure you keep your feet in front of you okay. since you're a boy. Okay. You know you want to keep you want to protect. You pre so you, protect so the make tools, sure you keep your feet tools. in front of you. Yeah. And uh, what would be the third? I think that's really all as you need to As long as they're protected, well, I'm, I'm yeah. fine. Just quickly before we wrap this up, everyone kept saying to me today, get Kendra to do the booty shake. <laughs> I'm not familiar with it. I, I actually, I, I kept saying, what's a booty shake? See, I would win that competition. Well, that... What is it? Show me. So you just, you know, it's on the legs. You know, you go, go Kendra. Go oh, Kendra. that's it. I've seen go that. Kendra. There are kids here, so I know. I feels weird. Too. Feels weird. Well, good luck with it. Awesome. I'm very impressed with everyone's... Uh, Determination to get up there. It's making me sweat just looking at it. Yeah. Looking at it. Have you been up there? Of course I haven't. Have I've got better things to do. You gotta look up, you gotta get up there and just peer over. Drake Bell, as nice as he is, has asked to take me up to the top. What is it, 10 meters? This is 10 meters. 10 meters. Which doesn't feet. sound that bit that tall, but it, it really I'm out of breath. It's, it's like a high. Enough story building. Well, I'm not gonna jump today. But I might jump another day. The only reason I'm not jumping is because I haven't got my trunks, otherwise yeah, I would. Why, that's that's why. the only reason. Yeah. But I'm gonna watch you jump. Alright. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna watch him. Yeah, he's still alive.